What's going on, everybody? So today's video, sports car dealer's attacker gets jail. This is an old, old article. Well, I was talking about this, I think, at least two or three times over the past year, maybe year and a half. And I actually found the article when I was digging for something else today. And believe it or not, this is crazy, crazy story. You got to think 2008. We're talking 14 years ago. So I'm going to put a link to this article. I believe it was out of, yeah, Sports Collectors uh, Daily's website. Let me pull it down here. A Pennsylvania man who pleaded guilty to attacking a local dealer with a crowbar and still in a, it says a bevy, which is just a lot of vintage cards, will spend time in jail. Gives him everything. A sentence of 18 months to three years. Now, remember, this is back in 2008. Guy was 28 years old. He attacked the owner of Montour Baseball Cards from Montoursville in March of 2008 for stealing. Now, think about this. $47,000 worth of Hall of Famers and modern sports cards, or star cards. Imagine what that's now worth. In 2020, well, even if we would hit in the door the hype, we'll just say late 2020, early 2021 at 47,000. Definitely way, way a lot more money now. But he pleaded guilty after being arrested and was jailed for violating parole. And let's see here. He had received a state prison sentence of 48 years after pleading guilty to robbery and conspiracy charges in 2002. Not all the stolen cards in the Montoursville attack have been recovered. So, I know we were joking around about, you know, hey, these thieves you should go find him and all that stuff. And it just brought, now I know this is a little bit off topic, but it was brought a thing where the man from Pennsylvania used a crowbar and stole all kind of stuff. This was like crazy news back in the day because we didn't have all these social media platforms. Uh, there were like some message boards like Beckett had one. Uh, hobby insider net and stuff and i remember this being covered and because i heard of uh montoursville before from living out in pennsylvania i was like that's just crazy i mean can't believe it and he attacked the local dealer with a crowbar like give me your cards or i'm gonna beat you with my crowbar craziness craziness so as you can see people will go to no pun intended the extreme to steal from you, whatever it may be. It just shows how times have not changed because we keep covering a lot of this. The people, I know there's a lot of people out there that are probably new or just came back into it. Like, wow, a lot of people are getting busted. No, people were getting busted before. Just we didn't have the social media platform, the news channels. You know, your local news wouldn't cover unless it was something crazy big. And even like the big city ones weren't covered unless it was something in that area that dealt with it. So you had to rely on message boards and stuff like this here to, or other people in a hobby to be like, dude, you haven't heard about this? It's crazy. Wow. Now, like, as soon as somebody puts it up, it could be anywhere. Facebook, TikTok, uh, Instagram, Twitter, or whatever else is out there and stuff like that. All right, guys, just wanted to share this real quick. Uh, I know I talked about this a couple times over the past year, two years, maybe even three but I ended up running across the article and wanted to share it. All right, guys, I'm out. See you next one.